some men, love is pretty well camouflaged by a kind of theatrical behavior. I'm thinking about a particular subgroup, fabled in story and song, the wounded loner. You know, the ones who have those sensitive eyes that have seen so much pain as they stare off into the middle distance, much too distracted to notice the wind, the rain, the fog. I have so much to give, they seem to cry to you. If only I could trust you. See how romantic I am, smoking a butt, hunkering over here by my heart performance motor vehicle? Won't you be the one to show me that it's safe to love again? So you go to them and you offer them the love you think they've never known, giving them plenty of space, but yet not so much that they don't feel adequately cared for, getting up hundreds of times during dinner to make sure all their seasoning needs are met, sitting patiently beside them uncomplaining in drafty sports arenas, or during long evenings of manic remote control activity, pretending you don't mind watching hundreds of television shows simultaneously and in three-second increments, and all the while filling in the blanks for them, pretending that their smoky inhales and exhales are somehow about you, until finally it dawns on you one day that all that brooding and all that sighing takes place whether you show up or not. And in fact, the only way to really get their love is to leave. Add to that a suitcase and some inconvenient travel arrangements, and you have an erotic act the equivalent of a garter belt and stockings. Now they're turned on. They beg, they plead, they overwhelm you with the details of a love that could rock the ages. And it's pretty impressive, so you come back in and sit back down and boom! Seconds later, they're back to sighing and brooding into the seasonal precipitants of their choice. This is why they're the wounded loner. Get it? So if you find yourself falling in love with a guy who kind of reminds you of Clint Eastwood or Johnny Depp, take it from your friend Merrill. Buy him a fog machine, leave it on his porch, put on your sunglasses, turn on your heels, and run, run, run like the wind, girl. Here's hoping Merrill's run across a few better guys than that. <laughs>